Karina. And we're from Simply Brick. And you guys are watching Concert Junkies Rob and John. Make sure to hit the bell to subscribe. Alright, so question one. Where did we meet? We met at a local show and we were playing with I was playing with my band and she was playing with her band and we just started talking. Yeah, it just clicked right away. Yeah. Alright. Question two. Who influenced you to start playing music in general? Uh, me, I would have to say, was in high school. I was listening a lot to Blink-182, and I just wanted to play guitar, and that was it. I started taking lessons, and then from there, it just blew off. And for myself, it was my brother. He was always the musician in the family, like, played everything, and I, um, yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's a family affair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, like a family. Oh my like... god. Okay. Question three. When you go on tour, what do you have to have with you? Well, obviously your gear. Something to eat, a change of clothing. Money. Mm hmm That's about it, I think. A yeah. car. A car. Something to sleep on. Yeah. And, you know, maybe if there's a cat around, that's one too. <laughs> Poor cat. Yeah. That's not great. <laughs> Um, question four. If you weren't playing music, what would you want to do with your life? I'd probably still be working where I'm working, but maybe as a hobby. Maybe I'd be doing something different. I mean, I like volunteering a lot with the elderly, so probably being doing more of that or maybe painting, but I'm not very good at it. I haven't done it in a while. What That's about true. you? Uh, probably writing. I, I'd want to write a book, maybe. Mm -hmm. Fiction. Okay, so question five, favorite venue to play and why? I really like Turbo House. It's hard to choose because there's a lot of nice venues in Montreal. I have to say I really enjoyed playing in Tur a Turbo House. I like uh, Esco, Esco Grief, <laughs> Esco Grief if I'm saying it properly. Yeah. Uh, I also really like Salarosa. It's hard to choose just one, really. What about you? Yeah, Turbo House is, is pretty cool and... Obviously, there's Crowbar, which shut down now, but uh, that was my first venue ever, and I don't know. I still love it. Yeah, I, that was the first place I also played, too, with, well, when I was with my other band, and it's really nice, too, because there used to be jam, jam nights, and, yeah. you know, it's... That was good. Yeah. Okay. What was the first concert you ever went to, and your first CD you ever bought? Well, the first concert I went to was when I was 12 or 10 around, and it was the Backstreet Boys, but, like, my first, like, rock concert was, um, Blink-182 again, when I was maybe 18 or 19, when they came to Montreal. That's cool. cool. What about you? Uh, it was Green Day. I don't remember how old I was. Probably, like, less than 12, maybe 9 or 10 or something. It was pretty cool. Yeah. The American Idiot Tour. Yeah, what's your favorite song by them? I don't know. I haven't listened to them in a very long time. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. Then what about your first CD? My first CD? Again, it was Blink-182. I think, like, I used to not buy music a lot, but, like, I bought every single one of their CDs when I was in high school. Oh, that's so, cool. So, what about you? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe some obscure band that I saw in Calgary back in the day. Okay, so next question is, which bands would you like to perform with? Okay, and in which venue? That's hard to choose because there's so many lovely local bands and local talent. I mean, I really enjoy, I enjoy that the Fats, their music I find is really nice. They're really yeah, like, like good hard too. rock and roll. Yeah. And um, I'm trying to think, I mean, there's so many. You go first, I'll think of more. Um, <laughs> it is really hard to think of one. I guess uh, Pretty Finished. I really like their stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Adama was a really good songwriter, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a fun song. Do you have any others? Uh, I mean, I really enjoyed, um, I like Calico Phrase, nice too. They're, they're fun to play with. Uh, yeah, for sure. Jessica Ruby's band. Um, her soul stuff, like, she, she does, like, uh, more alternative, like, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of more, but that's, that's, that's what comes to mind right now. What about the venue? 
the venue. Well, again, I play again at Turbo House, and I think because of the COVID, I saw on Facebook they might be doing an outdoor show. So. Yeah, I saw that too. So that's like yeah, pretty that's, fun. That's interesting. I'd be down for that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, okay. I think that was the last question. Oh, where are we going next, or what's happening oh, next? Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so. We are actually going to be releasing a single in the fall, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Yeah, some dreamy, nice, shimmery rock, actually. As for shows, we don't know because of the state of the world right now, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Yeah, it might get better sooner, and if anything, maybe we'll, we'll play something on, on, like, live or something, you know, if we get yeah, covered. Live Facebook? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I cool. mean... We still need to find a drummer first. Yeah, we're on a lookout for a drummer. Yeah. So, that's also a next step. Oh, and you can also follow us on Simply Brick. I think it's just Simply Brick on Instagram, right? Uh, or Yeah, on Instagram, I think it's Simply Brick at Simply Brick Montreal, MTL. Simply Brick MTL. Yeah. And Facebook, it's just Simply Brick. And it's easy to find us because it's just the brick. You're going to see Simply and then the brick. Yeah, the big red brick. <laughs> well, thank you for listening to us. Hey, wait, by the way, sorry oh, to bring you off, but what, what, say how you got influenced for the name Simply Brick. Oh, um, okay. So I was playing with my first ever band, uh, The Strange Perception. We're broken up now. Um, but we were playing and we hadn't had a name yet, so we went to Crowbar actually for an open mic night. Decided to play a few songs, and then we asked the crowd, Hey guys, you know, like, do you have any ideas for us? We don't have a name. Can't think of one. And a few names were, like, thrown at us, but the one that I remember clearly is Simply Brick, and that was, like, six years ago, and it's stuck with me ever since, so... Whoever shouted that out, thank you. That's, yeah, that's very cute. It's <laughs> yeah, very it's genuine. A, it's a great name. <laughs> yeah, it's very, just stick to your mind, you know. Yeah. Alright. Well, we good? Yeah. All right, cool. Bye. Bye.